Biafra has signed some international bilateral agreements and treaty, and many are on the way. <laughs> hey, yes, yes, yes. Where are the doubting Thomases? <laughs> Where are the doubting Thomases? I've been talking about M16 and M26, one of the most powerful weapons that Russia uses to fight their enemies. I told you before that it has been released to Biafra land. You see, whatever you see on this channel, we don't we don't force stories. We don't know how to force stories because we don't we don't know how to force them. That's just the truth. We don't know how to force them, and that is why we don't force stories here. Yeah now it has been confirmed by the prime minister that more powerful military power has been signed so therefore in the coming future you are going to be seeing more powerful weapons to defend biafra land first of all there's this fighter jet they call cruise 14 cruise 14 one of the most powerful fighter jets i saw it around but i'm going to confirm it later <laughs> I said I saw it around, but I'm going to confirm it later. You see, it's very, very, uh, uh, would I say, pitiable that so many people who are doubting Thomasis have refused to see the light in this Piafra of a thing that we have been trying to figure out. They have refused to see this, this whole light and this whole situation room. But one of the most important thing here is this. We must not be carried away at any point. Whatever the point may be, we must not be carried away. And that is where everybody remain focused. Don't worry. Those who are doubting, you know, before I told you that I am not a supporter of Mazi Simon ever. Yes. But with time, I understood that this young man mean well for Biafra France. What then happened? What then happened? Now we are seeing everything that is happening in Biafra land. If we do not have people that is defending Biafra land. You think the ESN is not working again? You think the Eastern Security Network have hidden themselves? No. There are territories they are protecting. How many times have you heard that the Fulani invaded Biafran land? They can only succeed when they have some, you know, zoo military guiding and protecting them. But the truth of the matter remains that you cannot come to Biafran land and make a mess of the people of Biafra. And that's where the truth lies. No matter how you want to do it, whichever way you want to go, the speed at which Biafran will be restored was going to shock a lot of people. A lot of people will be shocked. That has been signed and sealed. Signed and sealed. The PM had just confirmed it. That cruise 14 and 16 may be released very soon. And that fighter jet is one shot. Invisible fighter jet. Military powerful things have been signed. You see, you can go ahead and keep doubting, but uh, I know that some of you have doubted before and I'm coming back to your senses. And by so doing, you will eventually see the whole bunch of lights that we preach. It's all good. It's all good. But one of the biggest goodness that you all must presume and perceive is the nature of how we groom things we are not a people we are not a people that fails we are not a people that should be scared of our enemies we're not a people that should be worried about our enemies but one of the most important thing is this that we have come a very long way to realize that we are biafrans and we are going to defend biafran land at all costs at all costs it means a lot because if we don't defend biafran land they won't have a place to call our land. Mazi Simon Eba, the Prime Minister. There is an ongoing discussion that is happening now across the continent of these countries that the Afran flag will be raised first in Russia after the treaty has been signed. 
a big notation has been given and a big victory has been made biafran flag will be raised across four powerful countries four powerful countries and after the raise of these flags across this country a lot will be exposed in the coming future can be very honest with you that this man can no longer play with fire because fire is big so this discussion between the prime minister of russia and uh, the prime minister of biafra which is simon eba is yielding a bigger notation hear me and hear me clearly it is yielding a bigger notation and the voice of the people whether they like it or not must be heard that's where the whole situation begins that's just the truth that's all that's all where the whole situation begins we have come a long way and i can say it again and i'll keep saying it that my eyes are open to know who our enemies are big one who our enemies are because the more do you know what the enemies do they will want to turn you away from the truth thereby giving you a new enemy and that is how they have successfully turned so many of you from knowing the truth we must stay connected we must stay connected at all costs because this time around once this flag is raised believe you me the discussion for biafra referendum will follow immediately they just said they suggested we have come a very very long way and by so doing <laughs> i can tell you that by the grace of god a lot and a lot and a lot will be put in place that just the game that is just the game as we continue to shoot head and as we continue to make a big remembrance let's understand one of the positive impacts that must be made and once that positive impact is made then more glorious expansion and expectation is already put in place so let's just stay connected our win is our win and our victory is our victory so what mazi simon eba is doing now he's doing a very great job to make sure that nothing puts us beyond understanding nothing breaks us down because by so doing it is going to enlarge this coast and by enlarging it we will no longer need to be suffering to talk about the restoration of biafra that's where the whole situation room is we are becoming more victorious more more victorious nothing less nothing much this is me telling you the five possible things that is bound to happen in the coming future